Do you remember when the war started? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In fact, we were in, in the uh, sanitarium. We drove back, you know, and everybody got in cars. And uh, <clears throat> I drove back to Warsaw. Um, people didn't really understand what was, what was happening. People looking back cannot comprehend, cannot put themselves in, in, in the position of, of, uh, of I would say even the, just generally the Jews in Poland at the beginning of the, of the war. Because, only, you know, as I said, the, uh, the, uh, the Jewish schools started under the Germans with the encouragement of the Germans, who were actually encouraging various national groups to undermine the, the Russian state. Um, so there was a kind of uh, confusion, because on the one hand, you heard these horrible things Hitler was saying, and people knew that bad things had happened in Germany and so on. On the other hand, their experience with the Germans, which was only 20 years earlier, it's like us in early 90s. Suppose you had really good experiences in the early 90s, and now the same people are coming back. They sound different, but you sort of think it'll probably work out okay, you know, and, or it won't be too horrible. Uh, and it was kind of like a little like that. So that when we actually left, and we didn't leave because we were Jewish. We left because my, my father left earlier because he was a city councilman in Warsaw. And the government wanted those people to leave because they still had the idea they would reform in the East and start up another army or something. So they, all the army age people, they wanted to get out of the way. Uh, only two weeks later, 17 days later, the, the Soviets took over eastern Poland. Then it became clear that was the end of Poland. And my father sent, like, paid a peasant to come and, you know, kind of go back into the German territory, German held territory, contact us, and get us out to where he was, which was in the Soviet territory. We left, and you would think the people would be saying, you are so lucky you're getting out of here. You know, the Germans have taken over. I wish I could go with you. It wasn't like that at all. People said, you're crazy to leave. You're leaving your apartment. You're leaving all your things. How can you possibly leave? So it, it's, you know, things that are happened long ago, like the Holocaust, was once in the future. And so it was unknowable. And so the, the thinking of people was very different than people today imagine, I think, you know, looking back on it.